Hi everyone, I'm Vladimir Jutte. Thanks for joining us. Service along Amtrak's Northeast Corridor, one of the nation's busiest rail lines, has been shut down. This after a train derailed this morning outside of Philadelphia. Officials tell us two Amtrak workers were killed when the backhoe they were operating ripped a hole in the side of the train, sending the engine off the tracks. Now this happened in Chester, Pennsylvania. That's just about 15 miles south of Philly. There were 341 people on board traveling to Savannah, Georgia from New York when the crash took place. Dozens were injured, but none of the injuries are life-threatening. Passengers on the train described the scene as chaotic. We were on the train and everything was going smoothly. And then we got right outside of Philadelphia. We were in Wilmington. And then we just heard like, it, it just, the train was like rumbling. And then we got off track, I guess. And then it was just a bunch of dust. It was just dust everywhere. And then the train conductors, they, they were running to the front because I was all the way in the back. And then like five more minutes, we just wait, we were just waiting there. And then the train conductor came up and then he told us that there was a fatality. And then he was just wanting to see if anybody else was injured. So then he moved, there were some people, they were pretty bloody from the, because it was an explosion. We got off track and then it was like a big explosion. Then it was a fire. Then a windows bursted out and like some people were cut up. But no, it was like not, it was just minor injuries. Some people were cut up and then they were just running out. Then we just waited and then we were just, then we all had to walk from the track to the church. Well, I went to the bathroom just so I could see what was going on. And it, it didn't look too bad. It looked almost like a regular car crash. It wasn't too bad though. It was nothing like, but I mean, it wasn't like a regular train should be though. But you heard you Yeah, I just, I, I called my sister first. First I called my sister because they said everything was fine at first. They thought, we just thought it was like, a slight thing and we were going to be back moving. Then they told us somebody died and that we were off course and we had to switch trains. And so then I then I called my sister and then my, I called my mom. Did you? Well, I mean, I take the train like like twice a month. So nothing nothing like this ever happened. And it was it was crazy. Nothing like this ever happened. It was it was crazy. Like I was speechless. Let's get straight to former NTSB Chairman Mark Rosenker. He joins me now on the phone. Mark, uh, what can we expect the investigation to look like? Well, they'll be sending up a, a, uh, a go team from Washington, D.C., the NTSB. It will be led by an investigator in charge. They'll probably have a board member on board to act as the spokesman. And then there'll be a number of uh, professionals that will be coming from various disciplines, whether it's from the power plant, which is the locomotive, uh, survival factors. They'll also be looking at the carriages themselves. Uh, there'll be a family assistance person probably brought in. Uh, there'll be somebody as it relates to signals. All of those people will be part of the investigative team and will be uh, leading the investigation from the federal side. The Federal Railroad Administration will be participating as well, along with officials from Amtrak and uh, the contractor who was doing the maintenance. They will be participating in this investigation as well. Uh, Mark Standby, CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve is on his way to the crash site. He also joins us uh, on the telephone. Uh, Chris, what more are you learning about what happened? Well, Vlad and Mark, as, as we've been talking about, the big question here is why did that backhoe and the train collide? Who was out of position? Uh, how did this happen? That's going to be the big question as they look into this. I think the other question we don't have a good answer for is how long until service can be resumed along the Northeast Corridor, and certainly not to downplay the, the tragic loss of life today, but uh, the longer that, that chunk of track between Pennsylvania, 30th Street, Pennsylvania Station in Philly and Wilmington, Delaware, stays out of service, uh, the bigger the, the backups for the people that rely on the uh, Amtrak corridor to, uh, you know, those, those headaches continue to mount. And certainly as we look towards tomorrow, it is a major, major commuter thoroughfare between Boston and Washington, D.C. So to have it out of service is a major disruption. Um, you know, those are, I think, the big questions right now. How long uh, will this will service be suspended between Philadelphia and Wilmington? And how did this – what – series of events came into play that put these two uh, pieces of equipment on a collision course. Uh, we, we've heard earlier in a briefing that uh, nearly three dozen people suffered uh, some kind of injury or wanted to be checked out at area hospitals. All those injuries are described to be as non-life-threatening, uh, relatively minor, uh, and those were passengers. All right, Chris Van Cleve. Passengers. Yep. Sorry, Chris, go ahead. I thought you got caught no. up for a second there. 
No, 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 no. I was just going to say the uh, the rest of the passengers we understand have been taken to Philadelphia 30th Street Station and uh, are being you know reunited with their luggage, and we'll figure out another way down to Savannah uh, once the the corridors are back back open. But you've got about three dozen people that were at least taken to the hospital to be checked out, and of course there's two fatalities on board that that backhoe type device. All right, Chris, I know you're on your way there. We're going to be speaking to you a little bit later on in the show. Same thing with Mark Rosenker, former NTSB chairman. He'll join me a little later on. Thanks to you both. Good night.